Virtual reality headsets can make some people motion sick, but I'm here with good news. You can overcome it. First of all, if you've had a bad experience in the past, as I have, don't let that hold you back. Newer headsets have made huge leaps in technology. Better screens and higher, more stable frame rates means that you are much less likely to feel any discomfort at all. But everyone is different and there are no guarantees. To give yourself the best chance, I highly recommend following these basic, simple tips that can make all the difference when getting comfortable with virtual reality. I used to experience severe motion sickness with VR, but after following these suggestions, I have finally been able to enjoy this amazing technology. Of course, I specialize in racing games, so these tips are made with Gran Turismo 7 and the PlayStation VR 2 in mind, but Aside from a few specific recommendations, they should be able to help anyone. The most important piece of advice I have is to keep your play sessions short. Set a timer and limit yourself to 10 or 15 minutes, then gradually add more time as you feel comfortable. I know, I know this is not what you want to hear when you've just unboxed your brand new VR headset, but trust me on this. If you only follow one piece of my advice, let this be it. The trick is to stop before you ever feel any sense of discomfort. Even if you feel great, sickness can catch up with you suddenly and unexpectedly, even after you take the headset off. Take your time and just ease yourself into it. If you do start to feel uncomfortable, stop playing immediately. Take the headset off and just walk around the room, get a cold drink and relax for a few minutes. Trying to push through your symptoms will only make it worse and could hurt you in the long run. As soon as your brain associates wearing a headset with a feeling of nausea, it can make the whole process of getting used to VR even more difficult. When you are loading up Gran Turismo 7 in VR for the first time, it's an incredible experience and you'll want to jump right to your favorite car and take it to your favorite track. Don't do that. <laughs> Instead, use a slower car and specifically a convertible. A slower car that gives you a clear view of your surroundings helps your brain process the motion. You can think of it similar to real life. People don't get car sick in convertibles with the top down. They get sick in cramped back seats with limited visibility. This piece of advice actually comes from the creator of Gran Turismo himself, Kazunori Yamauchi, who specifically recommended I use the Mazda MX-5 Roadster the first time I tried PSVR 2. Sure enough, I had a great experience and never felt any discomfort at all. This next piece of advice also comes from Kazunori Yamauchi and it's an important one. Look ahead while you're driving. Quote, I think the number one recommendation for not getting motion sickness while you're driving is to race properly. Drive how you're supposed to drive a real car on a track. If you're driving properly, you can drive a much faster car and it still won't make you sick. If you're driving an LMP1 car and you're looking horizontally, that's not very good for your senses, end quote. Of course, that's not to say you should avoid looking around. That's part of what makes VR so fun. Just be mindful about your speed when you do it, especially as you're starting out. As your body starts to experience motion sickness, it's typical to feel hot and begin sweating. The actual reason this happens is complicated and is still not fully understood by science, but we do know that you can help fight nausea by counteracting this reaction. Wear comfortable, loose-fitting clothes, perhaps even a t-shirt and shorts. You can take this a step further by placing a small fan in front of you while you're playing. Maintaining airflow over your skin will help keep it cool, and needless to say, it will also make the experience of driving a convertible even more immersive. Believe it or not, this simple act of chewing gum has been shown in a medical study to significantly alleviate motion sickness when using VR. There are various theories as to exactly why this is, but it really doesn't matter. <laughs> this is a simple, affordable way to keep from getting sick, and it's a good excuse to buy some candy. The practical tips that I've mentioned so far will go a long way in helping you out, but if you really want to ensure that you don't get sick, you can find a wide variety of anti-nausea and anti-motion sickness remedies over the counter at your local drugstore or pharmacy. 
Ginger is a special ingredient that has been used for hundreds of years to treat nausea, and I personally like Dramamine Ginger Chews, which offer a, quote, clinically tested dose of powdered ginger for motion sickness. And they taste pretty good, too. For the ultimate in prevention, I recommend any anti-nausea medication with an ingredient called meclizine. Meclizine is good to use with VR because unlike other anti-nausea medication ingredients, it is less likely to make you feel sleepy or drowsy. Take it as directed about an hour before you expect to play, and it should last well through your play session. You can find meclizine in brand name products like Dramamine All Day Less Drowsy Tablets, which I personally found to be very effective, but it is widely used in many other medications that you can find in most stores. Typically, anti-nausea medication labeled as less drowsy will feature meclizine, so be sure to check the ingredients. Remember, it's always recommended to check with your doctor or pharmacist before taking any medication, and of course, be sure to use any of these products as directed. And that's it. These same guidelines were very helpful to me when I first started using VR, and I am confident that using just a few of these techniques can help those of you with even the most sensitive stomachs. Please let me know if these tips were helpful, and if you have your own remedies or suggestions, share them in the comments, or better yet, head over to the GT Planet forums where we will be discussing this in even more detail. Just check the video description for the link. Good luck and have fun.